Hi, my name is Chesit Taipawan and from Thailand. Today I would like to uh, teach you how to use the Python Dix. It's a data validation and setting management using in Python with the annotation tactic. Okay, uh, first of all, um, I'm not much good at English, so I will try my best to explain you uh, what this is uh, Python Dix and how it works. Okay, uh, to explain you uh, what this is, uh, I think that I will create a new project. Uh, this is a project that I already did previously by using the Python tick. and now uh, I will create another file maybe app.js uh, sorry uh, app.py mm -hmm. and in this case I will install uh, the package Python tick now Python tick package first uh, to install uh, the Python tick library uh, you have to visit to the website okay and click install and you will see this in my case I use PIP ENV to install because it will uh, simulate uh, both um, virtual environments and uh, it can install the uh, packet for you mm -hmm. uh, in this case uh, I have to uh, PAP install PAP ENV first and then uh, after finish install you have to PAP ENV and shell to uh, shell to the virtual environment to create the virtual file um, the PAP file it will uh, fix the version uh, the Python version and the Pinetic version that you want okay in this case I will install the Pinetic uh, latest version to install it's like a PAP normally mm -hmm. PAP ENV install and this one Pinetic <coughs> this one uh, I already did it but I will uh, did it again uh, I will do it again uh, to show you how to install after you install now you can uh, import the Python tick library I go to uh, the empty Python file mm -hmm. um, okay the best way to learn what this is uh, I recommend you to uh, go to this link overview and you will see this example okay um, first of all I will copy uh, one by one and explain you what this is and how it works I, I will um, copy this to this okay from this to this and press it here and now I will compile um, app and enter and you will see that um, uh, it just print uh, the user ID and the user ID is a variable of uh, user class and user class uh, interleaved from the uh, base model uh, base model is a uh, class of Pydentic okay um, it provides many useful features like uh, uh, export JSON schema uh, like uh, uh, what it, uh, data validator uh, decode uh, annotation okay um, I think that right now you have no idea what is useful okay how it's useful and now I will show you um, let's uh, before I will uh, sh uh, show you how it's used mm -hmm. okay uh, let me explain first this is a, a data class normally mm -hmm. and uh, you will see that uh, we create uh, four few integer string and optional uh, and optional uh, data mm -hmm. and uh, array uh, or list of integer and you will see uh, uh, the example create external data it uh, uh, mock up data with the uh, dictionary okay and this syntax is asterisk uh, double asterisk it will convert the dictionary this this dictionary into a uh, multiple argument <coughs> like a uh, id uh, okay uh, argument id and which is value and argument uh, sign up td and which is value okay to match uh, to match to, th to this mm -hmm. And you will see that uh, if um, uh, you will see that in this case I have no any init right mm -hmm. I have no any uh, constructor or init so um, if we uh, 
don't use a uh, bad model uh, you should see the error why because there is no constructor and you're gonna uh, try to inject the data like this so it will error that is the first Okay, that is the first useful things of the uh, pinetic. Okay, it provide the uh, uh, injection uh -huh, data injection by uh, by the um, constructor. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the next one, you will see this. Uh, I think this is not this is not much important. Uh, this is just show you uh it can how it uh, access to a data. Uh, let's go down, and you will see this. Um. The next one is a data validation ability. Okay, I will copy this and press it here. Mm -hmm. uh, to best practice, I think I will uh, move this to top. Mm -hmm. And you will see uh, the tie cache, and uh, you will see um, this is the um, invalid data because the sign up uh, timestamp actually it decides for. Uh, the time, but the example try to uh, simulate the error by you uh, by uh, inject the normal string, okay, and the uh, uh, friend actually is a list of integer, mm -hmm. but in this case you will see uh, some member or the or the last member of list is not integer, it just a thing, okay. So um, if you expect it should be error uh, in the Python, it will not error, and uh, even it error it my error without any um, useful uh, information with Pydentic you can uh, cover with TriCat and using the data variation error and you will see the error like this okay you will see uh, like uh, JSON and this JSON it provide you uh, the useful data, the useful info, uh, debugging info uh, for example, you will see um, this message field required and uh, what field? Okay, which field? ID. And in this case, you will see that uh, it try to uh, ask you to uh, inject or to provide the ID as well because ID is not the optional. So you need to uh, uh, provide this ID too. So I will fix this. Okay, I will use um, ID one, mm -hmm, and I will uh, compile again. Right now, you will see uh, the error is um, uh, reduced. Okay, is reduced. Um, uh, the ID missing is gone, but it still have the error about the invalid date time format because this is just a, a normal string. So to fix this, uh, I will copy this. Okay, this one is work, and uh, I may change uh, the time uh, a little bit okay and i view compile again and now you see the the error is ha have only one okay right now there is only only uh, one error that is a friend uh the value is not very integer because this one is a string okay so i will change it to integer and now there should have no any error okay okay right now there is no any error and that is uh, what the uh, pydentic can do for you okay it can detect okay it can validate the data and uh, tell you what the error is and how to fix it easily okay the next one is uh, is a custom validator for example in 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 care that you need to uh, uh, to make sure that uh, the ID okay it must be integer that is more than zero okay it should not less than zero okay mm -hmm. how how to uh, create a custom validator the Pinetic provide a custom validator in this case uh, I will show you uh, you have to go to the uses okay and uh, uh, find the validator and I you have to copy this and uh, this okay and next um, I will copy uh, just one okay because uh, I can uh, I can remember the syntax okay so uh, I will copy only one first and this is a um, validator annotation uh, provided by uh, Pydentics 
okay uh, in this case you have to map mm -hmm, the field okay the field of this variable okay for example if you need to uh, make the uh, id validator you have to tie this id to match to this variable name and then this is a function in this case um uh, you can uh, uh, set the name uh, what what you want okay for example our uh, validate uh, id okay and uh, this is a uh, um, like a uh, uh, context okay so um, for this variable i will not explain you uh, right now I, I will explain you for this already we is the value okay it represents the value of this field okay when we uh, user uh, or you developer um, when your application uh, try to inject a data this one is the value that data uh, that is the value of data that uh, user uh, inject and this is a, a condition to check if this value is valid or not okay if you think it's not valid you just uh, raise the error like this okay where to where you error like this okay but if the data is well okay no it's uh, there is no er any error you just return um, the ordinary uh, where you okay uh, okay I will show you if you set the condition like a uh, we uh, less than zero okay this is error okay if you think that if the value is greater than zero is the value you can uh, less the error and uh, change the error message a little bit right like, uh, must uh, have more than zero uh, <coughs> more than uh, more than uh, or equal uh, zero mm -hmm. and if there is no any error you just uh, by parties okay you just return the original value and now I will show you how it work uh, right now the value is one so there should no any error right but if I try to uh, enter okay there is no error but if I try to change okay like this uh, this is a minus you should see the error um, like this uh, must have more than or equal zero mm -hmm. If you change this to zero, it still work, right? And that is a, a custom validator. Okay, so uh, if you want to uh, like uh, create a custom validator uh, for the for a password, uh, for example, the password uh, length is uh, sh uh, is much not uh, is much more than uh, eight character or something like that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry. The next one uh, before uh, I will finish this video is a uh, uh, schema. Okay, uh, in case that you want to um, uh, export, uh, okay, uh, you want to use the schema of uh, this model, you can uh, export the schema easily. Okay, uh, how it work? Uh, I will show you. I will pin. Okay, and. Uh, this is the user right and I will uh, dot and schema and you will see a uh, schema JSON in this case you uh, is provide you the, uh, the option like that uh, indent uh, equal to mm -hmm. and we did function uh, is uh, can provide you the um, uh, schema of this object of the user easily if you copy this okay and uh, and press in the JSON validation and you will see uh, the uh, schema format there. okay this is a uh, match to uh, uh, according to the open API standard okay and that's just uh, that is uh, just a little bit uh, feature of uh, Pydentic. Um, as I told you, Pydentic is due together with Fast API and uh, uh, ORM database. Mm -hmm. And another thing that uh, I think is useful as well is the setting management. But uh, I still not will cover. Uh, I will I still will not cover this in this clip. Okay, maybe uh, I will explain you in the next clip okay and that is about the uh, pydentic okay uh, and 
if you think that uh, this video is useful a little bit okay uh, please uh, click like and uh, share this uh, this youtube i will very appreciate okay thank you for watching bye bye